Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another Steam Deck video. Today we're going to be taking a look at and setting up EMU Deck on the Valve Steam Deck. If you're into emulation on the Steam Deck, this is a definite must-have. As you can see here, I've got a list of my games. I've got box art and all of this was automatically generated for me. I did have to add my own games. There's about 10 steps to this process. Now this is known as EMU Deck. This is a script that allows you to set up collections, as you can see. We can go in here, we can start a game right up. It also configures the emulators for you. You will have to manually download them, at least at the time of making this video. But this streamlines emulation on the Steam Deck. Now for the lower end stuff, it's going to be utilizing RetroArch, and that's totally fine for, you know, Game Boy Advance. You want to do some NES, some Neo Geo, using FBA. But when it comes to the higher end stuff, you can use PC SX2 for PS2, SimU for Wii U, and RPCS3 for PS3. So if you're interested in getting EMU Deck set up on your Steam Deck, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, I've got a clean Steam Deck here. I've just got a few PC games installed. As you can see, I don't have any collections or anything going on. Really, the first thing you're going to need are some games and BIOSes. I've placed mine on a USB drive here. That way I can easily transfer them over. But if you want to use a hard drive or something like that, it's totally up to you. This process is about 10 steps. It's actually really easy. But first thing we need to do is head over to desktop mode. So we're going to press the Steam button, power, and we're going to scroll down to desktop mode. We're going to enter this mode here. And for this video, I will plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. It's just going to be a lot easier to follow instructions like that. But if you've never entered desktop mode, it'll look something like this. It's definitely going to be a lot easier to do this with a mouse and keyboard connected. You can pick up a USB Type-C to full-size USB adapter for really cheap on Amazon. But I'm going to move over to my game capture. We're still in desktop mode. All right, so here we are at the desktop. I'm going to walk you through this. It's actually a really simple process. There's about 10 steps, and keep in mind, in the future, this might become more automated, but for now, this is how we're going to set it up. If you're interested, you can just follow the instructions over on the EMU Deck website, emudeck.com. Really easy to do, and a couple of these emulators do require special setup, like SimU, but for a majority of the stuff, we'll be good to go with the instructions I'm going to provide here. They do have a full installation guide over here, and special instructions for those emulators that require it. So the very first thing we need to do is download the emulators we're going to use. We're going to head to the Discover Software Center, and from here we're going to go to Applications, Games, Emulators. Basically, everything we need is listed here. We can install it directly. And like I mentioned, some of these do require special setup, but we're just going to go with some basics. So first up, RetroArch. This is definitely a must-have. A lot of the lower-end stuff is going to be using RetroArch for emulation. We'll install this. Let's go with the Dolphin emulator. And we'll do one more for this video. Let's do PS3 using RPCS3. So we'll install these, let everything finish up. We do have a progress bar over here, and it'll also say remove once it's correctly installed. So now that we have our emulators installed, we can also check them from heading down to our app bar. We're going to go to games, and as you can see, we've got RetroArch, RPCS3, and the Dolphin emulator. Installed, ready to go. Uh, we do need to launch each one of these one time, just to make sure everything's configured correctly. Let's go with RetroArch. Give it a second, go ahead and close it down, and we'll do the same with the others. Our emulators are now set up. The next thing we need to do is install the Steam RAW Manager. This is going to easily allow us to download artwork and manage our games inside of Steam. Link for this will be in the description. We're going to save the file. It's going to go right to our Downloads folder. So now that we have the Steam ROM Manager downloaded, we're going to go ahead and download EMU Deck. This is the script. You can head right over to their website. We'll choose Download. And as you can see, we've got two options. We've got the SD card and internal storage. This really depends on where you want to store your games. Personally, I'm going to use an SD card. I've got a 400 gigabyte card in here, so I'm going to choose the SD card version. I'm going to save this. It's going to go to my Downloads folder. Once that's finished up, We'll head over to our Downloads folder, and I'm going to pull this right over to my desktop for easy access. So I'm just going to move it here, and now we're going to run it. So we'll just double click, continue. It doesn't take that long to run. It's going to create a ROMs folder on our SD card, configuring the Steam ROM Manager. And from here, we've got a little more information. 
If we take a look here, now we can add our games and copy them to the exact folder within the appropriate subfolder. So since I use the SD card installer of EMU Deck, I'm going to head to my SD card, which is just going to be my primary storage, and there's a new folder here called Emulation. EMU Deck automatically created this for us. Inside of this folder, we have our BIOS folder. This is where we're going to place all of our BIOSes. And we also have our ROMs folder with the subfolders for the consoles. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but we need to put our games in the correct folder. So what I'm going to do is snap this to the left-hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my USB drive that has all of my games and my BIOSes. Here it is. I want to mount and open. Now we have my USB drive over here on the right hand side. We have our SD card over here on the left hand side. So I've put my games and BIOSes in a folder called Games and BIOSes. I'm just going to grab my BIOS pack here. I'm going to grab everything I need and I'm going to place it in the BIOS folder that EMU Deck created. I just want to copy here. I don't want to move here because it'll take it off of that USB drive. So I'll choose copy here. We'll get our progress bar down here. So we're finished copying my BIOSes. Now we're going to add some games to our ROMs folder. So I'll go back over to my USB drive and I've got the games I want to add right here. So I've actually already set this up in the correct folders. Basically all I would need to do is just copy all of my folders and move them over here. But let's just say you only want to add a few games. Let's go with uh, GBA. So we'll find the GBA folder, Game Boy Advance. This is my SD card in the Steam Deck. Over here on the right hand side is my USB drive with all of my games. I'm going to find my GBA games and I'm just going to copy them right here. So it's actually really simple to do. We're placing our games in the correct subfolders. Let's do one more here. Let's do PSP. So from my SD card, I'll find PSP from my USB drive or external storage that I'm copying my games from, I'll also find PSP. And I can take these, put them right over here. I want to copy here. I got one more here I didn't copy. So it's actually really simple to add your games. If you want to do it individually, you can, or you can create folders that are named exactly the same as EMU Deck created. And the naming convention of these folders does follow emulation stations. So it's actually really easy to set this up. I'm just going to take all of my folders over here and I'm going to place them right on my SD card. Once this is finished up, we've only got a couple more steps and we'll be good to go with EMU Deck on the Steam Deck. Okay, so we've got our games copied over to the correct location on our micro SD card or internal storage if you chose that. We're going to close this down. Next thing we need to do is close Steam. So Steam should be open on your desktop here. We'll just right click. We're going to exit Steam. So now what we need to do is get some artwork for our games. And it's really simple to do with that Steam ROM Manager that we downloaded. It's in our downloads folder, Steam ROM Manager. We'll go ahead and execute. It's going to pop up for us. Very top left hand corner, preview. We're going to generate app list. It's going to scan our game folders and find all of our games and it's going to download artwork for us. So I'm going to scroll through here. There'll probably be a couple images missing. Like this here. This is a uh, classic heroes. I guess this is a hack game. You can add your own artwork from here if you want to. But if you're missing a ton of these, then your naming convention is definitely wrong with the games themselves. This one here, I know, isn't really going to find any artwork, so we could add our own. You'd have to download one. You can add local images here. You'll find the image, add it, and you'll be good to go. I'm going to choose cancel here and just scroll down. Missing another one. This is an arcade game, but it actually did a really good job. I'm only missing two images, and these actually look really, really good. So... I'm happy with what I have right now. If I wanted to add images, I could, but I want to save app list. So I'm going to choose save app list. Done adding, removing entries. We can close this down and now we can move back to game mode on the Steam Deck. And if you just want to do it from here or you could reboot the system. So return to gaming mode. And here it is. So I'm just going to press the Steam button, go to my library, 
and we'll scroll over. As you can see, I've still got my PC games installed, but we have a whole new section called Collections. So from here, this is all of our collections. I've got some Dreamcast, some Game Boy Advance, GameCube, as you can see, works out really well like this. Or we can get a list of all of our games by going over to non-Steam. And for this one here, I don't have any artwork. I'm just going to go ahead and hide this game for now. Press my options, go in here. We can either remove it completely or we can manage it and hide it. So it's just going to make it look a lot better on this main menu here. But scrolling through, we've got some really nice artwork for each one of these games. And when it's time to play, you can start a game directly from here or you can go back to collections if you want to. So I'm just going to start up uh, Chains of Olympus here. We'll choose play. It's going to launch the emulator for us. And we're playing PSP right now from that main menu. I mean, it just makes emulation on the Steam Deck a lot easier. And if you want to use the system overlay, we can go ahead and check out what's going on with the CPU, frame rate, and everything like that. But yeah, this really adds a lot to the Steam Deck. And one thing I've been wanting to install is Botocera or RetroPie. Unfortunately, Botocera has a lot of issues right now, and I will do a video on that once it's released. But setting something up like this is basically going to work out just the same. And we're still sticking with SteamOS 3.0 on the Steam Deck. So this is actually using RetroArch with a PPSSPP core. If you press L3 and R3 at the same time, it'll bring us into the RetroArch menu. We can change frame skip from here. There's none going on right now, and it's already upscaled using this PSP emulator. Just jump right into a little bit of action. The upscale looks great on this screen. We're only at 1280 by 800 with the Steam Deck screen, so going any higher on the built-in screen really isn't going to help out unless you're doing HDMI out but it can do much higher if you want to do that. Press your Steam button, move over to Exit, and it's going to bring us right back into the Steam menu. It's going to close all of that down in the background, and we can go right back to our library and choose another game to play. But yeah, I really dig the collection section. Just makes it a lot easier to find exactly what you want to play. I'll go back over here. I'll go to Dreamcast real quick, and we'll do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is also using RetroArch with the Flycast core. No issues running Dreamcast on the Steam Deck. So yeah, there is some more advanced configuration for those higher-end emulators, but uh, to get thousands and thousands of retro games up and running and just displayed on the Steam Deck's main menu is really easy with EMU Deck. I think they've done an amazing job with this, and like I mentioned, there's a chance that this will become even more automated in the future. Still a little early, but it works out really well, and it's easy to do. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. I will leave a link in the description to the EMU Deck website. Lots of great information over there. They also have a full written guide. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this on the Steam Deck, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you know when I post my next one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.